now in E.T., I'm told that Steven Spielberg recut the end of E.T. because he wanted to give you enough film to play that theme. Is that a true story? What really happened was the day we were recording the end reel of the film, the last 10 minutes of the film, I kept doing take after take, performance after performance with the orchestra, and I never could get all the cues within the 10 minutes exactly right. And Steven said, look, we know the music fits. It's a 10-minute piece from here to there. Just play the music the way it feels to you, and then I'll re-edit the film if I need to to make these little things conform. So he really did it in an effort to get me off the hook, so to speak. But I think what, what happened in, in, in the end was that the film, the editing of the film, gained a kind of rhythm and a sort of, we, a musician would use the word rubato, which means the speeding up and slowing up of music that is very natural. We do it in speech, you know, the, this kind of thing, where, where things can go rhythmically very well and not so well. And I think the last 10 minutes as it builds into the, the mothership lifting off gains in this kind of rhythmic cohesion because it was edited to the discipline of the music. On many occasions, some of the most famous virtuoso musicians in the world have